Welcome, Hero Team. Welcome to lesson 16. This is slice number one. This is an exciting lesson. We call this one the tornado kick. All right? So let's go over the basic movements for tor tornado kick. First thing you have to know is there's, there's some footwork involved in this. All right? How to spin, how to move, how to lift and kick. So let me, uh, let, let's, let, me, let me demonstrate the movement first. So on the back here, tornado kick looks like this. Okay, so let's break that down. We're gonna work on a movement called the turn step first. So I'm gonna demonstrate going this way so you can follow along if you'd like. The turn step looks like this. First, you're in a sideways stance, okay? You get there, of course, by moving around and high, disguising your motion. With the back leg, you're gonna turn and step. When you turn step, basically what you've done, if I'm going this way, is you've just switched your stance moving forward, okay? So we're here, and you just simply turn, step. It's important to note that we're not hopping around. We don't hop and step. We wanna make it a smooth turn. So there's a pivoting that has to happen on the bottom foot. Remember, anytime you pivot, you lift your heel up off the floor, okay? You can't pivot on your heel. So we're here, we simply turn, step. If I'm going towards this bag and I'm trying to hit the bag with my tornado, same thing, turn, step, and then you can kick. So that's how we practice this kick in the beginning. Okay, we can call that slice 1A, okay? Turn, step, kick. That in and of itself is a tornado kick. Now, if you want the jumping effect and the cool jump, then that's the next step. That's slice 1B, okay? So let's talk about that. Uh, so when we turn step, instead of placing the foot on the floor, and then kicking, we're gonna keep the knee up. We break that down. We turn, keep the knee up, okay? So, it's hard to do this slow and turn smoothly, but the idea is the knee comes around. When your knee faces the target, here, you're gonna jump and switch, just like, kinda like a double kick. You're here, and you switch, okay? So, again, a little medium speed, from here, spin and kick. Again, it's hard to go slow. So you wanna push off that back leg. Push, make this uh, heel light off the floor, spin and kick, okay? Common mistakes, kicking too soon. If you kick as you're spinning, and when your knee gets right here, if you kick here, the target's there. What's gonna happen? You're not gonna reach your target. And people get excited because the head whips around, right? So as you're spinning, you see the target here, but the knee's here. You see it, you get excited, and you wanna kick it here, but you'll never hit it in time, and your kick's gonna be, at, be bad. It's better to let that knee come to the center, even past the center a little bit. Because if you pass the center, you're gonna add even more power into the kick. So once again, we're here, Spin, kick. Nice and easy. Spin, kick. That's it. If it's on the other side, same thing. Spin, kick. Spin, kick. Okay? Let's see what that looks like on some paddle targets. So, on a paddle target. So let's break this down. You stay right there for me. Kind of back up just a little bit. A little bit more because I'm moving. So, we're moving in with this kick. Okay? If I break down just the footwork. Turn, step. Step. Okay, turn, step, kick. Next level, leave the knee up and jump. Okay, leave the knee up and kick. The thing, the difference between hitting a paddle target versus hitting a bag, when you hit the bag, your leg's gonna stop. Right, I hit the bag here, boom, my leg stops and I have to fall back in position. Hitting a paddle target, you're gonna basically hit the target, but there's not a lot of resistance. So your foot's gonna go through it. So you have to learn how to control your movement better. Hey, and stop, and come back, right? Hey. Hey. Let's look at that kick from this side. <clears throat> hey. Hey. Okay, the idea is not to jump as high as you can. I mean, that's great for to, for, to be flashy, 
it looks great, but in all practical purposes, it, you want to stay low. So this is why I say even just doing the turn step is a good way to do the stay as low as possible and do this kick. If you want to go for height, you can do that. I recommend stepping in first and really jumping up to get some height. So key points. Tornado kick is a version of a round kick. It is a round kick. It's a spinning round kick. But tornado sounds cool, right? So we give the name tornado kick. Just remember, we're hitting with the instep as we strike with this tornado kick. Doesn't always have to be the instep. Let's get some tie pads out and show them what this looks like throwing tornado MMA style. So we're using the big shield tie pads. This is equivalent to using a heavy bag. But if you have a partner and you have these, these type of mitts here, you can use them. So just like it's a round kick. So remember, we hit here for round kick, hitting with the shin. That's our MMA style kick. Same could be done with tornado kick. Okay, striking with the shin. Hey, okay. On one side, or we can show you from this side. Same thing on this side to get an angle with the other camera here. Spin, hey, and kick. Spin, hey, and kick. Okay? Another key point. <laughs> I keep thinking of key points. Anytime we spin, Anytime. We always keep the arms in, whether it's spinning hook kick, spinning side, but whatever. Tornado kick's no different. When we spin, the arms stay in for the spin. You're gonna be able to control your spin better that way. This is another good way to practice. Just what I'm doing here. Spin and kick, okay? There's some advanced versions of this where if you hold the target out, I can be far away in advance where I have to kind of jump in to hit. Or, same thing, where I'm close. And instead of uh, doing it in place, I step back and hit. So I can actually move backwards and hit. Okay? Just, just know that there's, like anything, there's layers to every technique. Okay, lesson 16, slice number two. This is round kick, tornado kick. A lot of you guys are gonna prefer this one over just doing tornado kick because the round kick kind of sets you up and gets your momentum going for the tornado kick. So let's break it down. If you've already learned round kick, back kick, or round kick, spinning hook kick, then this should make good sense here, okay? So, first kick, hit the round kick. That round kick needs to hit hard, needs to hit good, good technique. Notice I land here with my foot already pre-pivoted. We learned this in spinning hook kick lesson. But in case you haven't seen that yet, it's kick down. Why do I put it down here? I'm already pre-turned, pre-pivoted, pre-turned here. Now when I lift my leg up, easily I go right here. So fast. Instead of kicking down and now having to get this rotation and then turn. Okay, this is why a lot of you are gonna like it better because it's quicker. Let's show you from this side. Let's go with my right leg on this one. So here, we kick, down, spin, and kick. Okay? Just in the middle a little bit more. Again, we're here, hey, hey. Break it down, slow. One, down, spin, spot, knee, and kick. Okay, again. Okay, so the idea is you're coming in with the first kick, you miss, but that doesn't mean you have to stop. Keep coming with the second kick, okay? This particular combination works best if you miss your target or your partner moves back. And instead of missing and having to stop your momentum, just keep going. And that'll lead us to the next slice pretty soon where we add another technique to the end of that. But before we do that, another idea, another key point. Landing, okay? If you're hitting hard, again, if you're hitting a bag, it's different. I'll show you that in a second. But if you're hitting a paddle target because your leg's coming through and you're generating a lot of power, you're gonna overshoot your target, okay? You're not just gonna hit in the middle. You're gonna be overshooting by that target. So you're gonna land a little compromised. So you're either gonna land here, get back, or sometimes you spin all the way around. 
The main thing is you don't want to land here, just stay here. So let's demonstrate that a few times. Round kick, tornado kick. <clears throat> Round, hey, tornado, hey. Look here, boom, back in my stance. Again, hey, hey, back in my stance. If you really kick hard or you miss on the tornado, chances are you may spin all the way around. We'll demonstrate that. Hey, hey, and back. And back. Like every technique, there's no right or wrong, it just depends on the situation. So always practice the different situations. If I'm hitting a bag, like I said before, I kick, hit here, boom, I'm already, the bag stops my momentum. So I'm probably gonna hit here and land in front. One time, ground kick, hey, tornado, land in front, go back to my favorite stance. That's it. See you guys in the next slice. Here it is, guys. Lesson 16, slice number three. The what? The dragon combo. Dragon combo. Just when you hear that. Tornado kick alone is super, sounds super exciting, but dragon combo? All right, so, by the way, this combo got its name from a Bruce Lee movie, okay? And where he's, he's fighting, and at the end, he throws a combination, and at the end, he does a spinning hook kick. And he says, dragon whips its tail. That should give you a clue on what the final technique is here. So, in this combination, we're gonna be throwing round kick, tornado kick, spinning hook kick, okay? So it's kind of putting some lessons together. Lesson 15 and 16 kind of combined. So let's break this down. First, let me break it down towards the camera. All right, so first technique, round kick, down. Tornado kick, foot lands down again, same way. Spinning hook kick, okay? Let's break it down with some paddle targets here so you guys can see. We're gonna take up a lot of real estate, so. All right, first one, hey, down. Tornado, down. Spinning hook kick, okay? If you have a trouble with this, maybe you haven't done the lesson number 15 spinning hook kick yet, that's okay. You're gonna get that lesson later. Maybe go back and review it or just give it a shot, okay? So, this way, medium speed. One, two, three, okay? I'm gonna move Bob out of the way here. I feel like he's gonna get in the way. One more time, a little bit quicker. <laughs> yes, target holder, body, body, head. There's a rhythm to this combination. Not only a rhythm, but there's a distance management. So you have to learn where to hold the distance, where to hold the target in distance to the kick, but also when to place the target. Let's do it again. Down, tornado, spinning hook kick, okay? So a little bit closer with that spin, one more time. There it was, okay? And then again, go back to lesson 15 for the spinning hook kick tutorial, and it'll explain where to put your foot and the different ways you can throw that kick and where to land and how to land, all right? But that's it in a nutshell. Pretty advanced, but by the time you're a black belt, by the time you're in a brown belt, red belt, you should have this combination down. Dragon combo. Okay, lesson 16, this is slice number four. Guess what? Footwork time. Like I said, footwork, the foundation for everything, okay? Your footwork, having a good stance, being able to move forward and back, left and right, 45 steps, switching feet, moving in, moving out, circling, is the foundation, the setup for all of your strikes. It's the camouflage for every strike, okay? If I stand in front of you like this, throwing punches, and then all of a sudden I stand sideways, I mean, you should know I'm gonna use my front foot or I'm gonna spin, okay? But if I'm constantly adjusting my footwork and going into different stances, it's gonna be really hard to tell what my intentions are, and that's the camouflage. All right, so how do we camouflage this tornado kick? Because it's a big kick. It's, it's hard to land this kick if you just stand here and try to kick. So let's use forward and back, 
sliding forward and back. So, repeat. So I'm here, I can be at a distance, slide up, hey, tornado kick. Show from this side. Slide up, hey, tornado. I can slide back tornado. So I'm here, and you can just have the stationary, the target stationary. I slide back, hey, tornado. I like that one a lot. I like that one a lot because if he's kicking at me, switch feet, he throws a kick here. That's probably the best way to use this technique as a counter. But you can also step forward. So I'm here, I can be in my stance, I can step forward and then kick, okay? And of course, add, be creative. Add any of the footworks to this, all right? You could add, uh, well, just anything, guys. Be creative with it. Um, but I would say definitely practice sliding forward and back, stepping forward and back with the tornado kick. Okay, lesson 16, at home credit. What you're gonna do to receive your at home credit is you need to practice each slice 20 times on each leg. That's important. We don't wanna be just good on one side. As a martial artist, we wanna be good on both sides. We call that ninja style. Ninjas are good in any situation, okay? You're gonna naturally favor one leg, but that doesn't mean you should not, not practice the other leg. So practice both 20 times each leg, each slice. Okay, lesson 16, advanced reflex development. For those of you who are ready for more of a challenge, you're gonna start integrating some techniques together, developing your reflexes and your timing, and stringing combinations together. So what goes good with tornado kick? First of all, any striking, singles, doubles, numbers, slips, shields, all of that can really go together, okay? But you can also incorporate some of the kicks. Now within tornado kick, we already have the dragon combo, but let's see what else we can do with it. Okay, so let's look at this. Instead of tornado kick, spinning hook kick, you could do spinning hook kick, tornado kick. So let's break that down. We're here, and you can go spinning hook all the way around, tornado, right? Let's go from this side. I think it'll be a better view, maybe. Let's see, spinning hook kick, other hand. There we go, so we're here. Hey, spinning hook, hey, tornado, right. And judging the distance, the tornado's gonna reach longer than the spinning hook kick. Okay, we can add a little footwork to that, so same thing. I'm gonna step in to spinning hook. Step in, hey, spinning hook, hey, tornado. <laughs> okay, and then adjusting your stance. So axe kicks can be incorporated in as well. So we're over here. So I could do tornado kick first, hey, switch feet, and hey, axe kick. Of course, we can do numbers, right? So he calls out some numbers. Three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, anytime I do a hook, Anytime I do a hook, we throw a tornado kick. Yes, sir. Three, two, three. Ah, you gotta move back, remember? The kick's longer than the punch. So let's try that again. Three. Okay. One more. Let's do a few more. Let's go on this side. Four. Four. That's a straight. One. One. Three. One, two, three. Ah, and a tornado kick. <laughs> That's why it's advanced. So have some fun with that, play with your combinations, develop your reflexes. See you guys in the next lesson.